Good afternoon. Welcome to another episode on Secret to an Amazing Life.com, YouTube channel Neil Pnosin, or wherever else you're catching this video. I'm sitting here in my backyard, and a while ago I had asked for some feedback as topics you'd like to see discussed on both the blog post Secret to Amazing Life and on the YouTube channel. And Lori off the Nextdoor app suggested I do a video on being neighborly. I definitely did a blog post a while back. You can go and look, search for it. It was called Drop Your Buckets on different suggestions um, for being more involved in your city, such as uh, running for office, joining neighborhoods associations, and being part of the solution instead of the part of the problem. Well, I thought we best go back and revisit this topic since it's cer certainly want to create better neighborhoods. I looked both in my book, A Happy Life for Busy People, and I spoke to several people as well as got the influence of one of my favorite philosophers who knows all about being a great neighbor, Mr. Rogers. People laugh when I say that Mr. Rogers is one of my favorite philosophers, but if you think about it, if there's any man who excels in the fundamentals of human relations, it's Mr. Rogers with episodes as what to do when you're angry, what to do when you're sad. Um, I believe this one's called Adventures and Friendship. Um, certainly there's some adults who could stand to revisit that. But I remember something that Mr. Rogers would often do in his episodes, and that is he would get out and he would visit different businesses in the neighborhood, talk to the people, that sort of thing. I suggest doing that, but I'm also gonna take another influence from the alderman in the next district over, Kathy Probst. I spoke with her and her greatest suggestion to help improve the neighborhood is doing what I'm doing right now. Sit out in your yard, sit on your front porch, greet people as they walk by, get to know your neighbors. I definitely think this is one of the biggest yet simplest things we can do. Sit down with your loved one, have some coffee or have a lunch, eat a sandwich, and just enjoy the neighborhood. Get to know the people, notice things that happen, notice anything that's out of place. Uh, I think the more present we are and the more we see each other and become familiar, it's certainly gonna go a long way to becoming a better neighborhood. Certainly I wouldn't go back to the time of leaving your doors unlocked, but with getting together and making ourselves a little more present, as well as getting out and visiting local businesses and introducing yourself and meeting them, we're certainly gonna go to create a more cohesive and better relationship. I encourage people in my neighborhood to get out and do this, as well as the neighborhoods of which you're watching this. And I wanna thank you, we keep doing this. Before you know it, the light at the end of the tunnel will be us.